something is building in the knockout division. Words and understandings are being replaced with fists and action. What's going on with the women of TNA wrestling? I think that just happened, like, uh, you know, catering just happened to be where that transpired. I don't know, maybe because it's Thanksgiving and there's, you know, a feast to be had. I went to go shake Angelina's hand and she totally disrespected me and pretty much might as well have spit in my face. What did she say? She was pretty much, she totally disregarded the fact that I, I was even there. Not only that she just, and then she, uh, like, uh, Velvet takes a little doll, the action figure, and says, talk to the hand. Like, we're in elementary school again. But, okay. Teach your song. Again, what, what, surprise, surprise, the girls are around food all the time. You know, good, big surprise, right? We have a freaking match tonight. And you know what? This is not fun and games back here. I don't know what this this powwow is. Um, I'm, I'm here to be number one and the champion. Mickey James is still pissing me off, and we have a lot of history, as I said before, and I'm not done. What, what's, first of all, what started it? What do you mean, what started it? Yeah, what we started have a, it over there? That, really, nothing. I hate to say nothing, but you know what? We were heading to get some coffee. She happens to be there. I have a problem with her. You know what? I am a bully. What can you say? You know what I mean? She's pissed me off in the past. I'm not done. I didn't suck a puncher from behind, though, did I? Has the long rivalry between Mickey James and Tara been renewed? There's, you know, there, obviously Tara and I have history, and she spits her gum in my face. So, war's on again, I guess. So. I believe she threw me in the car first. It was a truck, actually. Uh, yeah, big, big truck. I hope, I hope he has insurance. You think he has insurance? I sure hope so. That would suck, because there's a little dent in the side. Sorry. Sorry, buddy, wherever you are. I don't, I don't know. Whatever it is, it, it needs to happen. And the way I see it, see it is I don't care how we finish it, we're going to finish it. Whether it's in a cage, whether it's at the end of a strap, whether it's a barnyard bra, I don't really care. But there's going to be a finale. And hopefully I'm at the uh, winning end of that. No, in fact, I will be. A few weeks ago, Madison and Sarita were on the same team. Tonight, after the knockout brawl, the two were standing face-to-face -face as enemies. Is there about to be trouble for the knockout champ? You know, I didn't, I kind of came into that fight halfway through. I saw the girls going crazy, Mickey and Tara tearing it up, and then, you know, Velvet's there, she got a hold of... Of Madison, I saw my perfect chance here. You know, I was there helping out Madison. I saw Velvet right there. I took a pen, boom, was gonna nail Velvet in the head. She turned around and I got Madison instead. So, you know, thanks a lot. That, that's uh, that's the thanks I get for trying to help her out. It was an accident. We just don't like the beautiful people. So we were just going to cause some shit out there, and then uh, for whatever reason, it got a little carried away, and I got hit with the cookie sheet by Serena. I don't know how they how they handle things in Mexico. If they throw beans and hit each other with cookie sheets, we don't do that here. We don't do that. I helped her out. I brought her in under our wing, and you know, I made her my tag partner in several on several occasions, and she did that kind of. Thing. No, no. Hi, how you doing, Queen B? That's me. I don't care if it was intentional. The fact of the matter is that it happened. Whether it was an accident or not, it happened. And this is my show. I run the show here. That's what this means. Well, one of her weaknesses is that she's got no sense of loyalty. I mean, you know, a couple weeks ago she's tagging with me. Next week, this week, she's calling me up, stirring to have a match with her. You know, she has no sense of loyalty. She wants to tag with me and then, then be my friend, be my partner. Don't come up the next week and start calling me out because you think you can beat me, which you can't. You know what, my head's always at winning that championship. Madison, especially after this week, she proved to me that she has no faith in me, she has no confidence in me. She thinks she can beat me? Well, she can't. So, basically, my eyes are set on the goal, and that goal is the TNA Knockouts Champion. Plain and simple.